Hello and welcome to a new CNCM lecture, a two-part lecture on in-circles, x-circles, and the in-center, etc. lemma. First part will go over theory, which is today. It'll be relatively short, and the second part will be going over some problems. So let's move on. If it'll let me. There we go, okay. So, let... So we have... You guys, most of you guys are probably familiar with in-circles. They are circles inscribed inside of triangles, and... The center of this in circle is the intersection of the angle bisectors of e to the sides. And this is a wonderful diagram to show you, but I'm sure most of you know this. So basically this is the main point, the intersection of all the angle bisectors. So you can find the in radius, which is r, by knowing the area and the semi-perimeters. So the area of the triangle is equal to the area of the triangle r is equal to the n radius, and s is equal to the semi-perimeter. So if I were to name this as a, b, c, this would be side a, side c, side b, and your printer is a plus b plus c, so your semi-perimeter is that divided by 2. a plus b plus c over 2. All right, so you guys, most, most of you guys know that. So let's move on to x circles. So x circles are, might be new to some of you, but or you guys probably know them, just never use them. I mean, something like that. So each triangle has three unique x circles, one tangent to each side. And so the centers of these circles are actually found by the intersection of the angle bisectors of the external angles. So that being the supplement of a normal angle. So if I were to draw these external angle bisectors in, you can see that they do intersect. I'm just bad at drawing, but you can see they do intersect at those three points. Um, and they do determine these x centers. So if you want to know how to name an x center, the naming convention is the side, the point it's opposite to determines its name. So x center IA, x center IB, and x center I. C. All right, that's good. Okay. Another property is that x circles are tangent to the lines of the triangle. So if you extend them, you can see that they're inter they are tangent here. They intersect. They they don't intersect, but they're tangent here. So they're tangent at those points with the extended sides of the triangle. And to find the length of the x radius, formula k over s minus a, with a being a side length here, s being your semi perimeter, and k being your area of the triangle. Moving on. So here we're going to cover the in-center x-center lemma which is going to be the main part of this lecture. So the in-center x-center lemma, this most is, the information following will be from this handout by Evan Chen on Fact 5 and I do encourage you to check it out. It is a good handout and let's continue on to the lemma. And this is the lemma right here. So let ABC be a triangle with in-center a, I mean, in center I, A, X center I, A, and denote by L the midpoint of arc BC. So that's, this is, this whole circle right here is the circum circle of A, B, C. So, we have that. We want to show, we want to show that L is a circle that passes through I, I, A, B, and C. And it does exist, but we want to prove it just so you know you know how it works. So let's move on to the proof here. If I can move on. All right. So to start with, one way to prove that there's a circle here is to prove all that these, like this length is equal, like BL is equal to IL, or IL is equal to CL, or L is equal to IA. In, Proving those, you can prove that all four of these lengths are the same. So I'm going to prove it for B, L, and L, I are the same. And so there's a circle that passes that does pass through them. Um, you can use a similar argument for I, L, C, L, and for L, I, A with any of the other three side lengths. So the three other lengths. So let me just show you it for B, L, and B, I. So if you want to prove these, first take angle L, B, I over here. So this angle right over here. So this angle can be further split into angle LBC, which makes sense, and angle IBC. Well, 
we know that angle LBC subtends this arc over here. And so another angle that does subtend this arc is angle IAC, LAC, IAC, I mean, same thing. So that angle right there is equal to this angle over here. So we have our angle IAC over here, and our angle CBI over here. Remember that the incenter I is the intersection of the angle bisector. So technically, here, this angle is equal to B over 2, and this angle is equal to A over 2. Similarly, we, we do know that since we proved this equal, that this angle is equal to A over 2. So that tells us that angle, angle L, B, I is equal to one half of A plus B, where A and B are angle measures. So let's move on. And if we me if we prove that angle B I L is the same, then we prove that this triangle is isosceles and L B is equal to L I. So if we move on, let's try to move that. So prove that. So we have angle B I L over here. Let's just draw that in. So angle B I L is equal to angle B A I, which is this angle over here, plus angle I I A B. Wait, let me think about that. Is that right? No, I, I just listed the same angle. So it's equal to angle I A B plus angle ABI by your normal triangle properties because this angle is equal to 180 minus the sum of these two angles. So this would be the sum of those two angles. However, once again, we know that the incenter is the intersection of the angle bisectors. So this is once again A over 2. This is B over 2. By our triangle properties, we know that that angle BIL is also equal to one half times a plus b, and so since we know the angle LBI is equal to angle BIL, then that triangle LBI is isosceles with LB equals LI, and you can proceed similarly with the other cases here to prove that there is a circle that proves all. It's a similar angle chase for all of them. So that is basically it, and there wasn't really much to cover in this first part of the lecture, but we will look at some problems involving um, the incenter accenter lemma and why it is so powerful. Thank you for watching. Uh, please join CNCM if you are interested and you're new to this channel. I will link the Discord invite server invite in the description below. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.